All right, here we go. Question number 15 from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. They want us to find the unit vector in the same direction as vector v. So we have a three dimensional vector here. We need to find the unit vector. So you need to know that the formula for the unit vector is the original vector divided by its magnitude. And so that's going to be I plus J plus 3K. That's the original vector divided by its magnitude, which would be the square root of A squared plus B squared plus uh, C squared. And then that is going to need to be simplified and separated into three individual terms. All right, so here we go. This vector is going to be, notice the coefficient of i is 1. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of 9, 10, 11. That simplifies to the square root of 11. And that is my i coefficient. That is the value of a for the unit vector. Plus, the coefficient of j is also 1. And that square root is going to be the same. That is the j component of the vector. That is the value for b for the unit vector. Plus, now the coefficient of k is 3. That'll be 3 over the square root of 11, k. OK, that is the k component of the unit vector. Now, it says type an exact answer, use radicals as needed. Notice it says rationalize the denominator. So we're going to need to rationalize the denominators. But that's super easy if you remember my technique that says copy and paste and then erase. So we're going to copy and paste the denominator to the numerator, and then you erase the square root in the denominator. So this first expression, the i component of the vector is going to be square root of 11 over 11 i. The j component is going to be identical. Also, square root of 11 over 11. And for the k component, if I copy and paste and then erase, that's going to give me 3 square root of 11 over 11k. And there are the coefficients of i, j, and k. And now let's see how we did. Fraction, square root. 11 over 11, fraction, same thing, square root, 11 over 11, and then for the last fraction, we've got 3 square root of 11 over 11, and we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.